Hello and welcome. This video I'm going to showcase how to use the XRP Toolkit. So the XRP Toolkit is basically just a website which you can use and connect to your wallet and then use additional features like, for example, escrows or also checks. So these are the two features I'm going to quickly showcase to you in this video. So in order to get started, we always have to click the button, get started. So we say connect wallet and now we've got multiple ways of connecting to our wallet. So in my case I do have a ledger device, so a ledger number S and I also recommend to you maybe using those uh, but it also supports uh, some wallets, so the Cobalt, Decent Wallet and the Xum app or also using an address. So in my case, I'm going to click on Ledger device and say connect Ledger, and also have to select my Ledger Nano S. So the device is ready yet, so first you have to unlock your device and also start the XRP app. As soon as you're done with that, you can say retry, and I'm going to select one more time, and now it's, it's retrieving all the accounts I do have. So in this case, so right now then there's a list displayed of accounts I can use, um, right, so I'm just going to use one test account right now, which would be sufficient, so I'm just going to select one of those and confirm that. And now I'm in the account overlay. So as you can see here, you can add a domain, you can add an email hash, a message key, and so on. So for example, also message key could be relevant for uh, de declaring your Flare network address. Um, well, so now the interesting part, I, we, so sending and receiving are quite normal features you do know from all the other apps and also from the Ledger Live app, but let's go to the interesting part, to the escrow. So first of all, usually when we're talking about the escrow, we're thinking about, well, the, fe the, the feature or the thing which is paid out on the first of each month to Ripple Labs Inc. Uh, but in this case you can also, so this is a feature you do know, so they also have that and they get a certain amount of money and many people get confused every month when they hear about that. But in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own escrow. So in this case uh, the easiest one to create is an escrow which finishes after a certain date. So you can just, uh, well I'm just going to select now and select the date a few minutes in the future, so for example like two minutes in the future, now I have to specify to which account the money should get sent to when the date is reached. So I'm just going to quickly um, copy my wallet address now. So this is a test account, not my real one more or less. And I can obviously add a destination tag and say how many XRP I want to send. So for now I'm only doing it with, with one for testing for example. Uh, I can also want to show more. I can also add additional conditions. So I can say when, for example, um, the escrow, well, the escrow should be cancelled, or which condition must be met in order to be delivered. Uh, but regarding the the conditions, this could get a little bit more tricky, uh, a little bit more trickier. So therefore, I might showcase it in another video if the interest isn't there. Then you can specify the fee and also add a memo. So simple plain text memo. This is a cool test, for example. And as soon as we're done with all the info and it's not too late, I can say next and I'm going to sign that transaction. So you can check that on your ledger again and then when you proceed and say sign transaction, then it's getting signed and it's submitting it. And now I, okay, it's submitting, so hopefully it's fast enough. I hope so, yes. And now I see the uh, the active escrow. So this, so now one XRP was removed, not removed, well, more or less taken from my account as right now locked up, and I can't access it. And as soon as the time is as the time is met, so I think uh, at one fifty eight and whatever some seconds, so I just have to wait a little, a little few more seconds, then I can redeem that escrow again. So it's still pending, so we might have to wait a few sec more seconds. In the meantime, I'm also going to mention there's another interesting feature, which could be interesting in the future, regarding checks. So we can also create checks, enter an account, which can check in the cash. So basically the checks are, yeah, basically what it does, what they are in the real world. You can just say how much a certain person is allowed to withdraw from your account, a person cashes in the check, and that money gets taken off from your account and sent to the person. Uh, as you can see, you can also for check at expiration date, and uh, university, and so on. Um, but now I'm going to look back to the escrow. So as you can see, it, the, the time is met and now I can finish it. So I'm just going to click finish and have to sign one more time. And now the, the amount gets added to my account again. And it's done. 
and now the escrow has been unlocked more or less. And yeah, the great thing is obviously the fees are ridiculously low, just 12 drops. And as you might know, a drop is a millionth of an XRP, so yeah, damn low. And yes, I hope this might have that this has been interesting to you. So maybe you can also lock up your money so you don't sell your XRP, or maybe find also other use cases. But I always find it quite interesting seeing all the capabilities and all the stuff you can do with that. So I. I would be quite interested into what how you like the video, if these things are interesting to you, or if it's just useless, and well, maybe I will soon create more videos. See you next time.